Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Healthy Shift Worker TV and today I want to talk about why food really is our medicine literally uh, and by illustrating just this week um, by referring to one particular vitamin and that's vitamin C. So if you're new to these uh, videos, welcome. My name is Audrey Starkey and I'm the founder of The Healthy Shift Worker and I work with shift workers and organisations to help to improve their health and well-being whilst working these crazy and irregular hours that we do uh, when we work shift work. So vitamin C, what is the connection here? If you have a stressful job or a stressful lifestyle, aka a shift worker, then you can become prone to a low levels of vitamin C. And why is that? Well, the, uh, it is because our body's highest concentration of vitamin C is found in our adrenal glands. And our adrenal glands are responsible for producing our stress hormones, so things like uh, adrenaline and cortisol. So if you are under chronic stress, you can see how quickly our levels of vitamin C, we can become quite depleted over time, um, which is not a great thing. And that there's, it's because vitamin C is so instrumental in so many important uh, mechanisms of our body. Our immune system, of course, is the one big one. Um, it is really important in helping to support um, our immune system and preventing infections. It's also important at supporting our cardiovascular system um, in our cells and our blood vessels. It also supports our gastrointestinal um, function, so in particular with the absorption of iron um, and along with um, ensuring stomach acid, uh, sufficient amounts of stomach acid gets produced and along with pancreatic enzymes, which are all critical roles in uh, digestion. One thing I wanted to point out though, and we must be aware of, is that our vitamin C levels do tend to decline as we get older. Um, so as we age, um, if you are a smoker, or if you uh, live in an environment that is heavily polluted, uh, also if you're on a lot of uh, different types of medications, for example, protein pump inhibitors and aspirin, um, all have been shown to lead to a deficiency in vitamin C. So how do we get vitamin C into our diet using foods? Well, there's quite a lot of uh, foods that contain uh, vitamin C. So for example, some of them are things like uh, kiwi fruit, uh, black currants, oranges and lemons, of course, uh, capsicum, tomatoes, broccoli, and even parsley uh, are just you know a handful of some of the fruits and vegetables that contain vitamin C. So if you make sure that you're always incorporating some of those into your diet um, throughout the day and throughout the week, and even better, if you can have different ones um, each week, it's going to help to in improve your immune system robustness by increasing the diversity of um, microbes in your gut um, or your gastrointestinal tract because that is where our immune system, about 70% of our immune system is found in our gut or our digestive system. Pretty fascinating, isn't it? So I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you've got any questions at all, feel free to reach out um, to me here uh, via email at order at healthyshiftworker.com or just jump over to my website um, healthyshiftworker.com and reach out to me there. All right, I'll talk to you next week. Okay, bye.